What up, my roadies? Road Trip Dave is coming at you from two different South Carolina state parks, Charlestown Landing and Huntington Beach State Park. Let's take a brief but thorough look at the beauty of these places. Charlestown Landing is located in my hometown of Charleston, South Carolina, right off of South Carolina Highway 171, also known as Old Town Road. This state park is considered the birthplace of the Carolinas, and it boasts an interactive visitor center, where you can also rent bikes and fight great souvenirs at the gift shop. Charlestown Landing also has a genuine plantation home, where you can rent it for parties, weddings, and other special occasions. Here's a brief preview of it. One of the amazing things about this state park is that it is located in the middle of the city of Charleston, yet you can see that it has amazing natural vistas and peaceful, tranquil hiking trails that explore the marshes of the Lowcountry. There is also a history trail where visitors can walk around the original settlement area during 1670 to 1680. One of the most popular attractions here is a replica of the 17th century ship adventure a small trading catch. I just didn't get the opportunity to video those things for you. However, I did get some footage from the animal trail. What many visitors and residents don't realize is that Charlestown Landing is the home to the area's only zoo. All of the animals in the zoo are considered native to the Lowcountry area. You will see animals such as bison, red wolves, puma, and these uh, scary looking storks. Now we are at Huntington Beach State Park in Myrtle's Inlet, less than two hours away from Charleston. This state park has one amazing attraction that most people don't even know about, which we will get to see. Before we explore that attraction, you know the drill, my roadies. Choke slam the like button, subscribe to my channel, follow me on all the social media, and only if you want to, you can donate to my channel on PayPal. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to check out a castle in the state of South Carolina. Atalaya Castle was actually built during the beginning of the 1900s. This was the winter home of Archer and Anna Hyatt Huntington, who was known as a philanthropist and sculptor. They left this land for it to be a park, as well as Brook Green Gardens, which is virtually across U.S. Highway 17 from here. Links for both parks as well as Brook Green Gardens are in the description below. Because of the architecture and tropical landscape, you almost feel as if you're in Florida or a Caribbean island. We visited during the beer virus of 2020, so they did require face mask wearing as well as moving in one direction around the building. I don't think they are requiring those things there now. Atalaya Castle feels like one lifelike maze with so many corridors, rooms, and different places where the Huntingtons lived. The castle is open for self-guided tours from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. However, the building is known to be used for large outdoor events, including the park's Atalaya Arts and Crafts Festival, usually held in September. The style of this building, particularly on the outside, is known as a Moorish style. So this is one of the very few historic buildings in the state of South Carolina that actually displays Spanish 
and Middle Eastern architecture and influences. In this tour, you even get to see old ways of life, such as this ice room and large but very scaled down bathrooms. Huntington Beach has two miles of pristine natural beach, hiking trails around the intercoastal waterway, and campgrounds. The state park also has a visitor center and souvenir shop with plenty of beach accessories and toiletries. The beach. This walkway takes you to one of the rare natural beaches in the Myrtle Beach area. It doesn't usually get very crowded here, so if you ever visit, finding a nice spot to pitch your beach chair will be easy to do. Make sure you check out some of my other videos from many different destinations. More videos are coming your way again soon, Dave's Roadies. Until next time, laters.